Hello, everybody. How are we? Is everybody's throats okay after last night? Because mine's a little bit hoarse still. Riz, I'll go to you because I'm sure I heard you in the South Stand for once last night. <laughs> no, that was on the way home, mate. That was me shouting out the car window at you. <laughs> yes, I did hear you giving me all the Nevilles. Yeah, yeah. No, we'll move on to that later. Oh, no, no. I mean, it was, um, you know what? What a fantastic atmosphere last night. And this oh, is this is why atmosphere. I know this is why I get so frustrated because it was such a fantastic atmosphere. Why can't it be like that every week? You know, why can't it be like that? Because it was brilliant. No ground is made, no home fans are like that up and down the country. Unless it's know, a, but, a big game like that. But they're very rare then. We we've I've not seen it like that for, for years, for being honest. Even even derby uh, matches I, and stuff. No, but I associated last night with the derby in 2012 when Vinny scored the header. Yes, that's it. That's very much what like what the atmosphere was like, and particularly yeah. at the end, there was a lot yeah. of fans still there at the end of the game. Yeah, yes, was. hello, Anne Marie. I'll, I'll introduce you now. Then, hello, Anne Marie, and hello, Stan. <laughs> hello, evening. Hello. No, it was. It was. Listen, on Tuesday, what day are we on through? I've lost track of days. On Tuesday. I was so confident. Horizontal was that laid back. I thought, it's not a problem, this. Yesterday, I woke up like a dog. I just, I don't know. I, I It was just weird all day. It's. It was almost like I was possessed. I was that nervous. It, it, I was all right until I got in work and people started talking to me about the match. Then I started getting... Nervous, like on a derby day, you know that kind of bit of dread came in, and but then once I uh, once I sank my second, the uh, third Jaeger bomb, I was all right. Yes, it's, and, and it I was fine. Couple. I was fine up until I saw the team. I was a little bit worried with the Kanji playing left back, but I, you know, I stand totally corrected on that. It was stand awesome money last night. No, stand up. No, she might not have any pants on. Don't stand up. <laughs> no. St uh, but you know something, and I, you can go back to the past couple of uh, recordings we've done. Did I not say if Aki wouldn't have made it, I still wouldn't put Laporte there? You did. And let's hope now that Akanji gets a bit of respect what he deserves because he was not only was he magnificent last night and just hear me out on this one when he met for some reason when Akanji makes the odd little blooper or something like that which I can't ever remember it costing us a goal by the way there's always on social media and stuff like that and it shows like this where it's all a bit oh Akanji you know you know we need to bring this in that in when Diaz makes a mistake Nothing said. When Stones makes a mistake, nothing said. Nothing said. When Aki makes a mistake, nothing said. But for some reason, when Akanji does, there's a bit of a hoo ha about it. He cost us 15 million from the Bundesliga, where he wasn't a regular for Borussia Dortmund. He's coming to us, and I think he's had a phenomenal, phenomenal season collectively. I completely agree. And it was interesting because I've, I've I kind of half watched the game back today. I recorded it last night. And on Betamax? Yes, on Betamax. And uh, even the commentator said he has to be the buy of the season mm -hmm. because he's been so versatile across, across the back and has, and you know, as you said, not let us down. And, you know, obviously they commented on the fact that, you know, City went and got him when nobody else was looking at him. So I well, think, they yeah. you know, like I said, Anne Marie, they, would, they wasn't looking at him because he wasn't a regular for Brushy Dortmund. So he was like a reserve for Brushy Dortmund because can you can you remember I'm sure you was on. I don't know if you were standing when, when, when we had the Dortmund fan on. Yeah when we had Ben on because Ben yeah. said uh he said he'll, he'll come across when it was pretty much Haaland was confirmed wasn't he and Ben says mm -hmm. you know it He'll be a good backup player for you, but he won't be. And he did. He said he won't. He won't be getting the minutes. I've spoke to Ben since, and Ben's like, 
where's this come from is adapted absolutely brilliantly what it gives us that versatility mm. and that's what's enabled for me that's what's enabled is that's what's enabled pep to be able to make these changes anywhere across across the back four now yeah. but we've said this haven't we before <clears throat> we we've got a scouting system and it and it's it's a proper scouting system so we pep gets pep our scouts know what pep wants they'll come back and they'll they'll go and say right find me somebody that can do this a b c and d and then they'll come back with, with a list pep will get hold of that player now they might be playing in the farmers league somewhere well they were weren't they in the Bundesliga. um they might be playing in a league it doesn't matter whether they're playing regular or not we go out and buy a player that pep can mold into what he wants we don't just go out and buy ready-made stuff you look at every single player that's come to city look at harland look at his is everybody thinks he's just a striker he just not taps gets tappings how many assists does he have now it's you know, not only that, mate. I think that's a valid point, Riz, because I said, although he missed three chances, he would normally put away with his eyes closed last night. Yeah, we know he got his uh, his goal. I still think it, that was his best game in a, in a City shirt last night. You know, he's, it, he's, he's becoming like, a complete player now. It, it was like De Bruyne. It was like De Bruyne and, and uh, Haaland got mixed up a little bit last night. It was Haaland assisting yeah. De Bruyne. And yeah. I just thought... For, for our first goal, that little touch there, you know, for him to to bring uh, to bring a uh, De Bruyne in, it was yeah. shades of Niall Quinn, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Was, yeah. Shades of Niall. you know, and I'm not taking the mic here, mate. You know, no. and I don't, I don't know whether it was lights out at that time for you, where you, where you are. Did you, I'm assuming you watched it last night? How did it come across on the telly? The fire stick. Was, was fantastic because obviously legal we, fire stick legal fire stick no the um oh did you did you get the fire stick in the cake there stan yeah you no know, yeah thanks for the file as well and you're welcome uh, was, i tell you what no you're right he, he's, he's all around game he's coming on a bomb he's he's far more than a striker now he's doing the yeah. little role he's doing he's getting across the box he's moving a, a, you know width wise rather than up and down he's, he's coming along He's, uh, he's, he's fitting into a pep centre forward. Who can yeah. finish? You know, they were saying, well, where are you going to replace Jesus' goals and Sterling's goals? Well, he's done it. He's done it in spades. On he's done it on his own. He's, he's done it <laughs> yeah. on his own. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You know, that he's, he's scored about 50% more goals than the two of them managed. But mm. uh, well, take, take, his, take, his, take his goals away. Obviously, don't take his goals away in that, in that sense, but switch off from his goals a minute we yeah we know he's a phenomenal goal scorer yeah, his actual no. all-round play now it's he's, 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 also turned, he's turned into city's minder as well any aggro is there like yeah. me band out the other thing that i think's absolutely remarkable is that he's still not 23 you know yeah. he'll start next season when he starts next season he'll be tw he's still only be 23. how old's jude bellingham um, 19. Are you sure? Yeah, he's always 19. Even when, it, even when he's 63, he'll be, he'll be remembered for being 18. By the way, I, know, I actually know the date Judas is uh, signing for us now. Um, he's going to be signing, and I, 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 this is hot off the press, he's going to be signing for us on the 32nd of April. That'll be good then. Look forward to that. Hey, are you having this one, John? You like this one? Miss, sorry. John. Do you, take, do you think he'll take the place of Haaland Harland after watching that one for the last 10 minutes? Well, see that again. It, it was Haaland. beautiful, wasn't it, when he unleashed his mop? That Timothy, that ode to Timothy. Fantastic. Yeah. That's where John is tonight. He's washing our Haaland tear for him. He will be. <laughs> Exactly, yeah. I'll tell you what, Bayern think they're great, you know, with that uh, Lewin Goldsky joke. But we've got Haaland, Haaland, haven't we now? We can take the Germans on at anything. Joke, Stan, can I ask you a question? Can I ask no. you a question, Stan? No, no. Did you get locked up for them jokes? I've got out for them jokes. 
You know, <laughs> 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 they let him out. And his all round play really, really excel from from what I in such a short space of time as well. Yeah, yeah, it has. And but I think, yeah, you just honestly, I watched us last night and men and men against boys. It doesn't even come close to it. Um, if you were just judging the season on on what we watched last night, how on earth are Arsenal where they are? Mm. Because they were, it. but it's not just bottled it. I've seen you. You look at the way Brentford came and played against us. Yes, admittedly, it was just before the World Cup, but they Brighton. came and they had to get. No, it was Brentford. They beat no, us. I'm right. I'm right. I'm saying yeah. they're the best two teams. I I think we've had that the Etihad this season. Yeah, but they came and they had to go at us, and they they're not in the position Arsenal were in. Arsenal needed to win last night. And they didn't. Mm. They didn't really threaten us at all. You know, it was. It was. If I was an mm. Arsenal fan, I'd have to say I'd be slightly disappointed. Well, not just slightly. I, um, I'd be very disappointed. I think we said this. Um, we might have said it off air or we said it on the podcast that you know. I, I I know I thought this that we if we did we we beat them like last we did last night. You know, if it was like say we won and it was one nil. Is one thing we get the points, but I think by I'm going to use a technical term here that I, I learned when I was getting my FIFA badge. Um, we dicked them last night, foot on the um, throat, yeah, and we absolutely destroyed them mentally. I looked at them players when they came over at the end, they were done. I watched them mm. against um, it was it, the, was it midweek they drew, um, South I can't think to the. Yeah, yeah, and I looked at him. They're all sat on the pitch. They looked like they'd lost the Champions League final. The yeah. body language and the body language last night was abs- shoulders down, heads down, everything. They, um, they, they, they've realised now that that's what it takes to be the champions. And they yeah, came. They felt. They fell short, and they haven't got it. They've not got that winning mentality what we've got. I must. Um, I must say. And I, I must I've, say I've said I've said all season, mate, I don't think they're all that. I think they've got very lucky with decisions and, and things like that. And everyone's raving on about how fantastic they are. I don't think they've been that fantastic. I think it's... When you've got the likes of Man United in third... Who the... F- Man United? Exactly. You know, well, Man, you United, know. Man United are in third, for God's sake. That's how bad let's, this league's been. Let, let's not pussyfoot around it. I think... City up until the FA threw the charges at us was pretty. We wasn't City this season. As soon yeah, no, as they threw them charges at us, we've just gone. Watch us go now, you know. And we've we've we, we, we've not looked back at it. But going back to uh, Arsenal versus Southampton, yeah, they were. I think before that match, we'd have all gone three points Arsenal, three points Arsenal. In the end, yeah, Arsenal could have won. You know, with all the extra minutes what the referee put on, but. At the end, it was like they, they was on the they was on the knees. They was sat on the ground. They they was demoralised after the Southampton uh, draw. So the last game you want after that is to come to the Etihad the way we're playing. And we just we was it was men versus boys, and that that was from minute one. It was all it was when we was one nil up. It was also like it was like it's like we got bored and we like just invite them on at us a little bit. And then we just excelled, scored, and the officials were crap as well last night. I must add, sure, they I think it was shocking because um, that, that part was right on the bro, and they ended up them getting a the free kick. That, that yeah. was in the first time. That was just like, that's what I'm saying. Worst Thomas Party should have had five yellow uh, five yellow cards last night. The official <laughs> couldn't wait to put his flag up for for John Stones. Couldn't mm-hmm. wait. I think. I think he actually put his flag up what before the the free kick was took. He, he was that eager with it. Yes, he went to VAR and the correct decision there. But you're right, Stan. That was a that was a penalty. I look. I've looked at that a few times and I thought, right. Let us let us try and think why it's not been given. I couldn't find. I couldn't find one. I'll and that was a, exa- I'll, no, but I'll tell you exactly why. Because when you watch it. I think it is. It was party. I think wasn't it? 
got yeah. his foot in between and Kevin, while he was trying to, I don't know, he was going to take a shot or get the ball, actually, he actually kicks party. But before I that, he stumped, I that, thought he stumped it. I thought he kicked the grass, you know, like stumped his toe in the grass, and that's what made him flick over. I still think it was a penalty. No, yeah. you, what you've said's right there, Lambert. Hundred percent correct. But the problem is, what he should have looked at that and then said, right, has Party gone for the ball? No, he hasn't. There was nowhere near no, the ball. No, that's true. Would Kev have kicked him in the back of the leg if he hadn't have done that to stop him? Potentially, potentially, caused, potentially causing an injury to himself as well, I must add, with De Bruyne. Yeah, yeah. Party went right across him. He knew what he was doing, Party. Yeah, he took him out from the side rather than the back. If took him out from Party. Took him out from the back, he'd have been straight off. But it's just a little, because it's on the angle, that stops him from getting sent off. The fact that it was a penalty, I, I, I don't know where they got that out. I don't know where they got the... Um, honestly, I feel like Paul Mason here. <laughs> Yeah, did anybody think? Did good. anybody think that we even got out of third gear last night? I don't. We just destroyed. Yeah. We we had plenty of gears to go up there last night as well. You know what? Last um, night, talking of party and people have been saying he's a great defensive midfield, and we were talking about men v boys before. I'm that he's not a patch on Rodri. No, he's not a patch on Phillips. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I just thought, would you can? They thought that he's in some way fit to be on the same field as Rodney. Did anybody, no. did anybody think last night as well? Yeah, we've gone on about a kanji and stuff like that. I just thought Rodney was just pretty much yeah, exactly. He's just, he's just like no, nothing phased him last night. I thought. And I know every single one of them players was was amazing last night, including Edison. I must add, you know, he was taking the piss out of a, uh, yeah, yeah. So, but I thought Grealish was very, very mature in his performance last night as well. I thought as well, Mares when he come on, the ball retention from Mares was, was superb. Foden oh, for exceptional. Foden when he came on, Foden when he came on to set a. Uh, <laughs> Holding when he came on to uh, set up uh, Harland, for uh, Holden, uh, Holden, 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 Zinchen it might have been Zinchenko who was a Foden just walked across and I think Ben White said something to him, good match or something, you know, something like that. And I don't know if Foden deliberately ignored him or he, he just genuinely didn't because don't forget the atmosphere, even at that point, was mad. Went across and Ben White just sort of like grabbed him, and then you had the uh it, it was like it was in slow motion, it was like Pamela Anderson running to rescue him on it in Baywatch with the blonde locks. Mm. <laughs> what is his face there? <laughs> I went a flashback. Yeah, I just, he's long locks and somebody running at him. I just listen. It's always been said that 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 key word about City together. Isn't it? That's not more evident than what we're actually seeing at the minute, and that's fans, players. Backroom staff are like everybody is as one at the moment. Honestly, but, the best thing that happened to us was getting charged by the Premier League. Yeah, I think the physicality, Andy, has come as well because the team now is huge. All those defenders are six foot plus. Stones is six foot plus in the middle. Rodri six foot. So you got five defenders out who are all six foot. Um, Harlan's six foot four. We've got a huge team there now. We've still got the odd midget here and there that they weave the magic. But Nothing wrong with midgets, especially not. when you're in a suitcase. I tell you so, what, you don't make diamonds as big as bricks, do you? That's, so that's so, so obviously, obviously we're, we're having a sort of like a short uh, podcast tonight. That at the bottom of scrolling across, for those where it'll go out onto Spotify, you won't know. They'll be thinking, well, well tell us what it is. Is the title done? I'm saying yes. I'm saying the title's done now. 
Come on, commit yourself. Yeah. It's funny, Mr. Data was massively confident that we would batter them till about half an hour before kickoff, and then think, I don't like sitting here being this confident. Something's no, wrong. No. And then it started to get a bit nervy, and it was like, that'll do me now. I'm happy now. I, I can be miserable. And I think not like, not, hey, it's not like you, that. No, I don't. <laughs> So, so this, for, those of, for those who are going to be listening on audio only, this is a, a, a bit of an older one, what I've just, just put on, because I wasn't expecting to put this on anyway. So we're just looking at the fixture there, Arsenal versus City's running. So Arsenal's, uh, Arsenal's have already drew against Southampton, what we can see on the screen there. They've got absolutely demolished by us. They're at home to Chelsea. So they've, so they've physically got five games left, and we've obviously got seven because we've got two games in hand. With the, the, the Brighton one for us has been moved, as we know. We've dismantled Arsenal. We're away to Fulham on Sunday. Um, the, that's not right. That's not right. We've got a thing at West Ham. Where's the West Ham one there? No, there's a couple it's not on there. We've got West Ham Wednesday. And the Leeds yeah. game has been moved to the Saturday at 3 right. o'clock. So apologies, apologies, those who are watching uh, vid, video, visually, visually. We've been hacked. Somebody's hacked been, us. Yeah. But the, but the thing is there... Jürgen, are you there, Jürgen? Has it, has it been at? <laughs> so, you can come out now, so we've got... This, 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 sounds really, this, this, might come across, this might come across as arrogant and stuff. For anybody as well, I've still got a rat in the roof in me pub here, you know. Uh, but that's by the by. Is it arrogant for me to say that I can't see us dropping... Well, we can afford to drop three points somewhere and, and still be in a great chance of winning the league. I, I can't see... Touch wood, I can't see us dropping a point. Them fixtures. I'm going to say the one, the big danger one is Everton between the, you know, in the middle of the two Real games, and because we won that tonight, uh, last night, we can afford a defeat and still go past them, Arsenal. So that's that's being mega, mega confident and mega, mega, you know, um, what was it you were saying then, Andy, about is the title done? We can now afford to lose a game. And I think if he's going to make a rotation of rest players, it will be that Everton game between the two Real. Obviously, depending on what happens in the first leg. I, and Marie, I, I, just, I just think it's done now. Are you committing yourself to that? I am, yeah. You always you love agreeing with me, don't you? No, it's nothing to do with agreeing with me. No, you say no now. You love agreeing with me, don't you? No. No. <laughs> Is agreeing with me then? But it is. I think the title is done. I do. Okay. I, I, I just yeah. can't do it. It's not in your nature, is it? I don't know. I'm. I'm too old. If it was a thirty-year-old City fan now, I'd be. Yeah, it's done. <laughs> but I just can't. You are a thirty-stone <laughs> City fan. Hey! <laughs> is that what you said? Sorry. No, I didn't. You need to get the fat out of your ear. Get that wax. I. Out. I. I'm sort of. <sighs> I want to say, I know, I, I want to say it's done. And the way we performed last night and the way we've hit uh, this 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 patch, right. this purple patch. Right, forget I the city ones there, Riz. Riz, forget the city ones there. Go, go yeah. through. I'll let you go through there what, right. what Arsenal have got there. Go on. from, from uh, Right, so we, we get, they, they got done by Southampton, really, didn't they? We dicked him. Chelsea yeah. at some point have got to win one, or you know, because they can't, they can't be this bad for Look to go and get relegated, that. aren't they? Newcastle, I think they'll get beat by Newcastle. Brighton, I think Brighton could do them. Mm. Notts Forest, I think they'll beat them, and Wolves, they'll beat them. So potentially, these, we'll look, we'll look I reckon they could drop four points. I reckon they could drop six points there. I can't, yeah. God forbid, I can't see us dropping six points. No. Mm. No, I can't. We might get a couple of draws along the way and stuff like that, but predominantly now, we're, we're, we're that machine. We're that machine now, what's geared up. Arsenal's arses. Well, team, fell out. teams are terrified of us now, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Teams are terrified. Teams who are playing us now are looking at them and thinking, they're, they're looking at us. They're doing exactly what we've just done with their fixture list and going, 
no, Man City, no, we'll get Dick there. No, I sort of think, no, they're, they're doing the same. So I don't think there's any team that we're going to play who are confident they're going to get a draw or beat us. We've got that fear factor back on, Marie, haven't we? We certainly yeah. do. We certainly do. And we, we just, it's, it is, it's like the well oiled machine. It's like we know when we have to hit form and we've done it again this season, you know, and even the, Madrid games don't. I don't fear them now. No, no. I think we'll beat them home and away. I really do. There's, I some, there's something about us at the moment, isn't there? I mean, I I, I look there. That I watched that last night. Experienced that last night, and every single thing about our club last night was better than Arsenal. The fans were better. The team selection was better. The money, the, the, the tactics were better. The pie, everything was, yeah. The pie, well, the lager and the Jaeger bombs were better than the latte. Um, it, it was we, we, we have just so much better in every shape and form than Arsenal, who were top of the league. You, you look at them two teams. Good. Yeah, yeah. We, I've never felt this confident. It's weird, and it, it's like Stan said. I don't. It's, it doesn't feel right. The summit. Listen, I, 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 I feel wrong feeling this right. If that makes sense. Yeah. No, I, I totally get what you mean, Stan. It's like under Pep, we've had brilliant, brilliant sides, including really phenomenal attacking sides. We've changed our style of play because everybody, everybody rocks up with ten behind the ball now, pretty much against us. Yeah. But we're still getting the goals, if not more. Yeah. Our styles changed. Yeah. But now we, we strike instead of us just battering people, bang, 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 we're almost strangling them before we score. And it's and with Riz, with what the way Riz is feeling, it's it, it just feel unbeatable. Okay, we might go away to Fulham and we'll get smashed because we're talking like this now. But at this moment in time, as this goes out, it's just it's just weird. It's a weird feeling under pep. This it's and I'll tell you what, something else as well. Last night, did you see when De Bruyne scored his first goal as well. Pep celebrated, turned round and started roasting Edison for because Edison did a <laughs> yeah. for me. That is that is yeah, right, right, dickhead. Don't be doing that again. And it's just like and I think that for that to happen, mm. the folk the focus, what's there? It's not as good as us trying to focus on Stan there, but you know what I mean, don't you? Yeah. Yes. Keep still, I'm like I that. Can't, I can't help. He's actually scary. He's actually scaring me. That that like haze around him, and he keeps coming in and going out again. It's kind of like especially, it's like Salem's lot or something. Especially the way his head keeps. Especially the way his head keeps coming off. His, his head. His head. <laughs> so yeah, I, ju I just listen. We, <laughs> We've got sorry, I'm Marie. I mean, the thing is, we can add that to it because we do have the physicality now to do it. Yeah, you know, we're a very, very good team, unbelievably technical, unbelievable tactically sound, and everything. But we've now got the physicality to go with it that we've not yeah. had in the last few years, and we can start bullying teams. That's that's why it looks like we're bullying them because we are, we are, yeah, yeah. So on, sun, on, sun, on Sunday, on Marie, we're away to Fulham. So if it goes right there, we could be finding ourselves a point ahead with a game in hand on Sunday. If touch wood. We could indeed. We could indeed. I mean, it will depend on, obviously, I'm not sure what time Arsenal are playing. Tuesday. Um, Tuesday, yeah. They play Tuesday. No, they don't. They play the 29th. No, they played the next game's Tuesday. I'm sure it is against the. Uh... Yeah, it, is. it was a big uproar over it. How they got so much of a rest, weren't they? Yeah. Oh, I think yeah, you're right because it was something to do with uh, the police, wasn't it? That's okay. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. They've been re reformed then. I thought I thought happened them with that. Yeah, apparently you... Sting couldn't make the game or something. I don't know. That's a piece that isn't it. Yeah, he had a bit of he, he had a bit of ring sting, didn't he? <laughs> Whoa! You always get one what brings the show down, don't we? And it's always on Marie. I'll we, we had, we had, we had, you knock him in. 
<laughs> Sorry? We had, we, had, we, had, we had young Laura on, on Sunday talking about porn up. We got you now talking about you. What's going on here? Well, I don't know. It's the company I'm keeping, I think. I think John's rubbing off on you. Stan's rubbing off on you. I walked past Hong Kong Chippy last night looking to rob a chip off the two of you, but no sign of you. Hey, guess mm. guess where I was last night? Oh, you Where's... were with uh, Arsenal TV, weren't you? Oh, no, Gary no. Neville. Oh, my mate Gaza. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Riz, uh, on my way to the match yesterday, mate. Where is it? Where is it? I'll I took this just for you. Well, I forgot to say. I'll tell you what, while you're finding it, I'll tell you why I wasn't on Kong Chippy. I was there last night. Blue I wasn't there last night. You know why? Because we got in the ground early. And I told the lads That's we're getting first, early because Anne Marie, Anne Marie was kicking off and I got told off. So we got in early and look at the atmosphere we created. It was beautiful. Oh, what an atmosphere. Stop saying that. It just brings me out into Dan. I've got my maracas out now. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, I love about that. Oh, dear. No, my, my maracas. Ah, yeah, funny. yeah. I'm in prison because of that. Lauded in a prison <laughs> trial. <laughs> so yeah, but you've got your maracas out in a chippy. That is, yeah. That's not the right thing to do. All right, because Stan's got his maracas out and his soap on a string. <laughs> <laughs> but that, that's good. Thing. I, talk, talk, <laughs> talking of ring sting. <laughs> He's got an ass like a Japanese flag, but that's another story. Um, yeah. I actually, I actually was there to welcome the coach yesterday as well. I got that must be a first for you as well. No, Anne Marie, well, that's what he is. He yeah. that abused Arteta when well, there's not his Miguel. No, Anne Marie, and that's what was going going on about on Tuesday. I was horizontal. I was that. I was that laid back yesterday. I could not. I could not rest at all. I had to get near the ground early. It was just bizarre. I, I didn't even get it. I didn't get that early, get to the ground that early for title winning games or anything like that. Yesterday, it, you could just feel it was a huge, huge game. And I think the crowd yeah. was absolutely magnificent. I know we said it earlier on, but absolutely. the crowd was absolutely magnificent yesterday. And I think that was the old cliche of that 12th man. Yeah. I like them big flags and all they were good, weren't they? Brilliant. It was good to see the 94 back last night as well, enforcing, you know, putting stuff like that there. Is that what they is that what they put up? Was that the 1894 that did that, or was that the club or uh, that, that that was the club, but uh, they they were sort of like oh, I know they was trying to organise stuff uh, for when the coach arrived and stuff like that yesterday. Uh, you notice with all that blue smoke as well. I walked away, it was like a bleeding smurf. All the smoke <laughs> all over. I knew I knew I knew should have had a sh shave. It was all honestly, it was like Granddad Smurf with blue balls. On that note, listen. Uh, yeah, we've got Fulham. Hopefully, we'll uh, we'll have we'll have a masterclass uh, <laughs> against against Fulham, um, and we'll do it again on Sunday night. Um, sorry, uh, celebrity John can't be with us tonight, but he's apparently he's gone to trademark the. Um, is the press guy or something he was saying? No, no, I've heard he's um, he's washing um, he's washing, uh, he's washing Harlan's hair, isn't he? That's what I've heard because he's worth it, yeah. Because he's he's John's missus is an hairdresser, so John's blagged it that he's got to wash his hair for him. Did you not see it last night? It's a bit greasy, didn't it? So he's, he's I did well yeah. staying away for the match. I tell you what, Alan's turning me. Not when you see his wife front, he wouldn't. Hey, did only like yours. Yellow, yellow at the front, brown at the back. <laughs> I think it's <laughs> time for you note, to think, go to work, Andy. I, I think on that note, we, we better skedaddle, haven't we? Listen, thanks, <laughs> thanks, Dan. Um, you can't leave with like, an image like you can't leave with an image like that. That, 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 that's the image. Listen, the Samaritans, the, the phone will be ringing it. The Samaritans and everything. It's got, it's got some skid 
I just I just like it the way Stan keeps going all on Berlin on us. <laughs> it doesn't look like one of them ghosts. The, like the ghosts of Red to Ghost, and we just keep it does keep people. But you should say that, Ray. He is like bleeding Scrooge. I've known him a long time. <laughs> <laughs> right, guys. Thanks, thanks for joining us. Uh let yeah, brilliant match. Just let's hope that see you all on Sunday, that folks. On. Yeah, take care, guys. Bye. Adios, buenas noches, Stanyarita. <laughs> <laughs>